welcome back to uh, part two of our stocking, uh, Christmas stocking. Uh, before we get started with this though, I want to show you a quick tip before I forget. I buy my eggs in these plastic kind of um, cartons and these are fantastic to, we have, you know, for your blings, for your little bitty things that we seems to, you know, uh, keep in a box and they all come together. It is really, really nice because you can keep it all nicely in here individually, but then at the same time, you can see what you have from the top. I'm not even going to uh, decorate this little uh, carton because uh, if I put it on a drawer, which I might, I can see what is in there and I can pick it up and whatever work, I, you know, whatever project I'm doing and, and that's it. So I can see exactly what I, you know, what I would need. Or if I keep the little scraps of uh, laces or beads, whatever it is, these are great. But also, if you stack one on top of the other on a shelf, again, you're able to see what you have. And I am in the process of doing a lot of things in my house. And one of them, I'm changing my uh, sunroom, which is where my craft room is right now, to one of the bigger bedrooms because I need more room, more elbow room. Anyway, so I thought that would be a great, great, great idea. Uh, and so if you're not doing this right now, if you do buy this kind of uh, eggs, then all the eggs come in in this kind of uh, plastic. Um, you might want to try but they are make awesome awesome little uh, you know uh, storage and I, and I like it too because this top here because it falls over things doesn't get messed up uh, I think there's one area with the middle you know right couple of areas in here but that's it but I just put my bigger pieces in there and I don't have a problem with them and then it just folds and stays there and if it shakes a little bit it's not going anywhere which I like that okay well let's get back to then uh, tutorial and welcome back and we're going to finish this little stocking today now the only thing that I have done in here you know me I have to get a little some things that takes a little while longer is put some bling right over here and some pearls and so right over here too. And what I did, I put some pearls on the tassels and I think they're very, very sweet. And then around the little flowers, I put some little round stones and that kind of makes the flower show up a little bit more. And some bigger uh, pearls, you know, in some areas. And on the back of the cuff of the uh, stocking, I did the same thing. And then on here also, excuse me, uh, I put some pearls and some bling, you know, in it because it needed it. And also on the toe of the, uh, this little flower of the uh, stocking. But, you know, I look at it and it's still kind of blah in here. So what I did is, and I tried it out and I already got all it, I got, you know, my embellishments in there. See? And on this one the same way too to get a little bit uh, ahead. And what I'm going to do, and, and it really does make all the difference in the world. See, I'm gonna put this one right here, and then this one is gonna go right here. By doing that, look how much nicer that looks. It's because the top is so heavy, uh, you know, then the bottom, it kinda looked like that, at least to me anyway. <laughs> So by doing that, by putting this extra couple of appliques, which I had already embellished, uh, it's going to make all the difference in the world. And I don't mind if it comes off a little bit of the, you know, of down here at the edge of the bottom of the, um, of the stocking. So that's what we're going to do today, okay? And let's see, make sure that this is going to be okay, and I think it is. I have tried it so many times that I think it's... It is going whatever it's supposed to go. But that's basically all I did since the last time, okay? So I don't want you to feel bad that you lost, you, you know, lost anything uh, you haven't really. And like I said, mainly just embellishing these things because it does take time. And once you do one, it's all the same in it. So, uh, 
disgusting. It really makes all the difference in the world. It really makes it, oh, it just, it just finishes it off. It's that lace in there didn't do a thing for me. And, uh, Yes, this is for the baby. I didn't want to really make it too. I didn't want to make it too over, you know, uh, stuff. But I still wanted to uh, to look pretty for her because she's my sweet little angel. Okay, see this comes up a little bit on the edge of the boot, but I like it and see it all. I think it turned out really, really pretty. And it, it just made, like I said, it just made all the difference in the world. Oh, another thing that I did, by the way, see the little rosettes trim? I put that all the way around, all the way around of the stocking, in front and the back too. And that just finished off that edge in there and it looked really nice. I also put some, uh, let's see, what did I do there? Oh, around in here on this little flower, I put some of the rosette also. And it really made it a little bit, you know, more finished too. Uh, and I like it. So, uh, it's a bit, this one is, needs a little more glue. And these don't have to be, these little flowers, as long as you have a little bit of, uh, you know, glue at the center of them, it's all that you need really. They don't need to be all in there. So, I, I'm very, very pleased how this turned out. But now what I'm going to do to this is add some ribbon and some uh, embellishments in the ribbon. Let's see what we're going to do here. I got some already. And what I chose is um, just different things. I got a, some, a white Uh, tape bind, uh, seam, seam, ta uh, seam tape binding, and here's a kind of an off-white. I have every color in the rainbow on this stuff, believe me. Like I said, I still have it from when I did my, my, my uh, clothing line, and so I, uh, this is a ribbon, and it has a little bit of, it's kind of a rosy peach, so it went very well with that, and I decided to go ahead and put that in there too. And here's a little little one that is pink. So I'm folding it and put it in there. And here's another off-white. Whoops, sorry. See? Okay, I'm not gonna do a flower on this. What I'm going to do is actually make a, um, a knot in the center, like so. Because I want some dangling. And then the flower that I'm gonna put in there is already kind of big so I just want to make it a knot and let's see make sure let's see maybe on this side okay it's not gonna show but you know I'm just picky <laughs> okay so See, now what I'm going to do is go ahead and cut the, uh, the little ribbons that they are folded. Let's see if I got them all. Did I? I guess I did. And then just kind of, you know, trim a little bit here, a little bit there. I don't want them. I don't want them a little bit different lens, but I, you know. Want a little bit of a okay. There we go. Oops. Give a little bit of an angle here. Oops. There we go. Let's see if I have a ball. Oh, there's another one in here. I need to. I need to trim. Okay. All right. 
them up a little bit so that I can do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right on this very point in here. I want all of those danglies to kind of go on the side of the, uh, you know, of the boot. So I'm going to put it on here. And then this uh, I just done a tutorial on this on this flower, and I just love it. So I think this is what I'm going to put right there. And the fabric kind of matches the fabric that's in here too. And uh, I think that's going to be really pretty. And all those little ribbons, they're going to be hanging on there. I think it's going to be really nice. But I also want to put some of this. I'm going to put some pearls. So let me just... Uh, Put this right here. Okay. And here's some of the, um, which I'm actually going to do, some of that sorry yarn from uh, Creating with Details store. And I'll just put that in there. And I want another one. Maybe this one be a little longer. Maybe it kind of make it more interesting. There we go. I like that. And some pearls. We might as well whoop it up. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to make more stuff, you know, that, uh, and I like trios when I do things. I think it looks more interesting instead of even, uh, especially those, uh, this here, this uh, extra things that you can really see. Okay, there you go. All right. Oh, I like, I really do. I really do. But you know what? This is, I'm going to cut this a little bit because it's got, had something on it so I'm just gonna do that I guess we can have some little longer a little bit shorter that work I like that idea so that's what I'm going to do it makes it a heck of a lot more interesting oops And then I'm gonna put that over there, like this, like so. It's Christmas, so we might as well whoop it up. So, and the only thing that I haven't done yet, I'm probably doing to the last minute, you know, before I hang up the um, the stocking, of course, is make a loop in here to uh, put it on my uh, fireplace. And. Uh, Okay, ooh, I like that. All right, folks. Well, this tutorial didn't take long, did it? <laughs> he really didn't like very much, but I, I like it. I think it turned out really pretty. And I like all of this uh, ribbons and seam binding and all that hanging in there, and I think it's really pretty, so I like that. Let me put this, some of this. I like it more that goes on the side. Well, there you go. I think it turned out really sweet. And this is not, you know, everybody has different tastes, and I do realize this. But for my baby angel, perfect. So here's my Christmas stocking. I hope you enjoy this as much as I have. I always enjoy, you know, crafting for you. And uh, so until next time, stay well, stay crafty, and God bless you.